not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Beam Rider by Dave Rolf, copyright 1983, on the ColecoVision. Level 1 to 3. You see, I never know which is going to be harder, or anything. I have no instructions. Sector 1, what's happening? Are we starting now, please? Okay. This is a game I'm aware of from back in the day, and I, I played it on some system, but I don't actually remember what it was fairly recently. Oh, okay. Oh. Die, please. I like this. So, whatever it was I played it on before, I think it's better on this. Uh, there, there's a fluidity to the motion here that is impressive. Um, that is something that is lacking in some games on some systems. The fluidity. The, it's not just the frame rate, it's the... How things move. Oh my god. This is getting challenging. Oh, what's going on? Something about the sap. What's that? I don't... I think that's probably dangerous. I don't know if you can see my fire. Um, possibly not. The screen is speckly as... The video output from my ColecoVision is either not great or there's electrical interference. I don't know, but it is speckly. That, that's just a feature of this. Um, come on, let's go now, please. What happened? I pressed zero. Zero doesn't make you go. I'm pushing many buttons. We are getting... Oh, okay. Press up then. Interesting. That's... I'm noticing the... I appear to have smart bombs, perhaps, next to my 15. I don't know what that 15 is. Um, that, okay. I don't know what that was. But it seemed like big bomb, perhaps. Does it, does it take out... Yeah, it takes out things that you can't shoot with your normal zappy thing. The normal zappy thing... Um, it's a good name. All, all weapons should be called zappy things. Um, yeah, you may not be able to see it because of the quality of the, the screen here. Um, it's like a circular thing. Yeah, you, oh god, you're not going to be able to see that. That's a shame. Um, but it's good. It moves nice and quickly. It's like it's wrapped around the beam. Yeah, I think whatever system it was I played it on previously, and it, it might have been the Commodore 64, in which case I don't think I've uploaded the video of it yet. Ah, can I use my... Yes, I can. <laughs> That's excellent. Up. Go. Yes, it's up to get out of that section then. That's good. It's worth knowing. Yeah, if I'd had this back in the day, I would have been very impressed. I would have played this a lot. It's 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 fun, is what it is. Initially, when I've seen pictures of it, or in fact watched videos, or in fact the last time I played it on the Commodore 64 or whatever I played it on, I couldn't really see the point of being restricted to the the grid. It was like, well, it's sort of Space Invaders, sort of Galaxian, but on a grid. What's the point of that? But I do. I do get it. It does add a certain something to the way the game plays. Here we go. Let's wait for this. No. Missed it. 
Ugh. That's a shame. There was just too much stuff on me beams. I used to live in a house that had wooden beams on the ceiling. I liked it. Not there anymore, they demolished it. Very sad. I liked that house, even though it was cold and drafty. It was an old house. You wanted to know all this? Oh, oh crap! Now that is one of those situations where the shape of the controller is actually a factor. Because while I've got my thumb on the left fire button, um, it's a struggle to actually press the right fire button, which is on the other side of the controller. Um, I have a finger on it. It's, it's my middle finger. <laughs> but uh, I can't easily actually press the button. Oh. Come on. It does get quite... It builds up the tension. You... Ooh. Go what? Yeah. There is. There's, there's tension building up here. Because they... Oh, God. They can trap you, effectively. With their... That they limit the, the places you can move to. Oh. Uh, gotcha. Yay, I'm surprised I'm still going. What is the 15? I've, and, and I'm sure 15 isn't my lives, is it? And I'm sure I haven't got 15 smart bombs. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, this is getting pretty. Fourteen. What is the four? Is that how many things I've got to blow up? Yeah, I think it maybe is. Well, that's good to know. Yep. Come here, you little yellow thing. I want to kill you. Because obviously no one else can count. Us! Oh. It's like a little splatted turd in, uh, on the bottom of the screen. <laughs> Two left. There's something very. Uh, it's it's futuristic. I mean, it's it's. Vector graphics, it's, it's Tron-esque in the, uh, the... The movement of those lines is fantastic. It really... I mean, I've been thinking about the movement of the ships and stuff, but actually these lines are so smooth. Yeah, you go away. Gotcha. Still going. I think this is my last life. Not the sound. It's it's a very, very rich sound. I mean, the Atari 2600 had rich sound compared to, well, other systems of the day. I mean, well, the, the, some ZX81 didn't even have sound, but I mean, compared to the Spectrum, and I don't think the Commodore 64 was a thing when the ColecoVision came out originally. Um, but then neither was the, the Spectrum when it came out. Yeah, very, very rich sound. I like it a lot. Ah, oh, bugger. There we are, I think I'm dead. Game over. Sector 6. Hmm. That is Beam Rider 
on the ColecoVision. I like it a lot. It impresses me. Hmm. Okay. Thank you for watching. Ah, there you are. Have you finished polishing the silverware like I asked you? Yes? Splendid. Here's 50 pence. Now, go and click the subscribe button like a good peasant.